Hello and welcome back to WePC. Now, whilst most modern computer components can deal with a lot of heat in an efficient manner, overheating still possesses a lot of dangers for your PC. For anyone who is investing from hundreds to thousands of dollars into a PC, you need to know how to stop it overheating and it's incredibly important that you do. Certain components of a computer overheat more than others. For example, a powerful CPU or graphics card with a high thermal design power is going to output more heat than your motherboard or power supply. So these components usually come with a cooling system that takes care of this. But in this video, we are going to cover what the main causes of overheating computers can be, how to keep track of your temperatures and your components, and ultimately show you how to tackle these problems head on. So firstly, what causes a computer to overheat? Let's look at how individual components can affect the heat inside of your system and then move on to the main threat to anyone's PC. So let's talk about your CPU. Now, modern CPUs from both AMD and Intel can take a hell of a lot of heat before it starts to harm the processor. That doesn't mean you shouldn't be sufficiently cooling your PC. Most processors come with a stock cooler and while they aren't the best, they do an effective job to protect your processor against the heat. When you start to overclock, that is when you might see problems and you might want to replace your stock cooler with an aftermarket fan or a liquid cooling system but it is always a good idea to replace the thermal layer between your processor and cooler as over time it will dry out. Your GPU is going to be the component that outputs the most heat in your PC and aftermarket graphics cards feature one, two, or even three fans to actively cool the card as it tries to tackle your AAA games. You may have felt a large burst of warm air after running a game for some time and whilst this is normal, you are going to need to make sure that your case has at least one fan to get some airflow and remove the hot air. Most high-end components, and especially graphics cards, use passive cooling to give you the best of both worlds from an acoustic and cooling perspective. The fan on your graphics cards will only start to spin when the GPU reaches certain temperatures, but there is something some manufacturers will allow you to change. And the main culprit of overheating in your PC is dust. Now dust, dog hair, spiders, whatever finds its way into your case will raise the temperature significantly over time and can cause some real damage to your components. Let's not be too dramatic though, your system will still work, but you can be sure your components will never last as long as periodically cleaned computers. Even with high-end cases featuring dust filters, the particles will still find their way into your system due to the vast amounts of air being sucked in. Now, Dust will stick to everything, but usually will find its way onto every fan inside your case. It can clog fans, stop them from rotating, and their advertised RPM speeds, and in some extreme cases, will stop them from moving altogether. Before we get into the steps on how to stop your PC overheating, it's worth knowing what tools you can use to track temperature. You can check the temperature of specific components with a plethora of downloadable tools off the web, and you can do, of course, and you can, of course, do this in the system BIOS, but downloading a tool is a much simpler way and saves you from restarting your system or booting from a BIOS, which many newcomers to PCs find a little bit daunting. Free Windows programs like HW Monitor, which display these various temperatures, are the best place to start, but double check the hardware your system has is supported by the software. So now, how do you stop your PC from overheating? As mentioned before, Poor airflow leaves you with stagnant air inside your case, raising the ambient temperature and negatively affecting the entire system. This can be caused by a lack of fans or too many obstacles in the way, such as cables. So cable management is something that is really, really important when it comes to keeping your PC cool. And it's usually a back seat with builds. It's time to appreciate the power of proper cable management. Make sure you've run your cables efficiently out the back of your system, giving you a much more spacey interior to let the air flow through. To assist in the airflow, you are going to want to ensure your case has side panels on. Taking a side panel off changes the pressure and makes your fans less effective at doing their job. Furthermore, having gaps in your case like missing side panels will allow dust, dog hair and all sorts to go inside your case, raising the temperatures further. The lack of airflow could be due to really old clogged case fans, so make sure they are clean or even replace the fans in your system to start pumping fresh air through the PC. 
If you only have one case fan, try installing another to put hot air out. And if you already have a push-pull configuration, try adding a third. Of course, at some point it becomes less effective, but if you have never considered airflow or poor quality fans, this is a cheap and easy way to reduce the effects of your PC overheating. Our next step seems obvious, but it's really just clean your PC. How often do you periodically clean dust out of your PC? If the computer is overheating, then it's probably not enough. Remember the fans inside your case suck in vast amounts of dust, sometimes clogging up and generally filling the interior of the PC with the dust. Dust is the enemy, so periodically cleaning it out is a very effective step. Whether it is just a simple dust or collection of pet hair, the most effective way to clean your PC's internals, components and space is with a can of compressed air. Now, some may use a vacuum cleaner, but the safest way to get all of that grime out of your case is to simply spray it away with compressed air. Take your time to clear each fan and its gunk and make sure you are happier with the components than you were before. Our next recommendation is to simply upgrade your CPU fan. Now, are you still using that six year old stock fan that came with your CPU and while it may do a sufficient job in cooling the processor, you can do better. Aftermarket fan coolers come with a large heat sink which transfers more heat in a much more efficient way and can keep your PC running at lower, safer temperatures for longer. You could remove the hot air of your processor from the equation altogether if you went for an all-in-one liquid cooler instead. Now liquid coolers aren't particularly better for the job unless you're overclocking a system, but they use radiators that are screwed onto the extremities of your case, removing your heat output from the case interior, lowering the ambient temperatures, and then basically stopping your entire PC from overheating. Now our final recommendation, and we know a few of you will shout at your screen in a rage, but it's to stop overclocking. If you have overclocked your system, you're probably aware that it really does push your components to their limits and gives you the best performance for your book, but it also raises the temperature of your PC significantly and can do more harm than good. Overclocking has a dramatic effect on computer overheating, so if your PC is no longer able to handle it, it could just be time to pack it in. And that is our comprehensive video on why your computer overheats and how to fix it. You should periodically clean your PC at least once a year, but the more regularly, the better and the happier your components will be. Don't forget to replace your thermal paste on your CPU every few years if the temperature starts to creep up a little bit. And lastly, have you considered the fact that your current PC case may just offer poor airflow? Look for alternatives and upgrades. There are plenty of cases out there that champion airflow over everything else and can provide you with a very low ambient temperature. If that's something that is important to you, go and check it out. Now, as always, We'll have a link to the original article in the description below. So if you've missed anything in this video or you want to give it a read, you can go and check it out. If you like what you see, I'm not just talking about me, why not consider subscribing to WePC.